round of applause for the pride of New Mexico. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ed Cardiffin. I'm with Visit Las Cruces. I'm also the in-game voice for the New Mexico State Aggies, so I'm the loud mouth when you guys go to the games. Hey, who brought their cowbells today? I haven't done it since the end of November. Let's try it one, one time. Cowbell! That sounds awesome. And these guys here appreciate it every time that you guys did that this year. That definitely helped uh, secure a couple of victories along the way. So, big round of applause to all you fans over there all year long. Today is all about our Aggie football team. And we're going to kick off our celebration right now. Let's have a big round of applause for the Aggie football team, the coaches, the players, the trainers, the equipment managers, the band, the cheerleaders, the sun dancers, all the workers. All that hard work paid off this year, finally. It was 57 years since we felt that, and hopefully we don't have to wait another 57. I say about one year, how about that? One year and we do it again. First, we want to start by thanking the city of Las Cruces, New Mexico State Athletic Department for organizing today's celebration. And again, thank you to the Pride Band, the cheer team, the Sun Dancers for all coming out today and supporting. We have a lot of dignitaries that are with us today that we want to recognize. Thank you to Mayor Ken Miyagashima. Mayor is here, thank you, Mayor Ken Miyagashima. City Manager Stuart E, Chancellor Gary Carruthers. We also have some regents that are here with us today. Deborah Hicks, Carrie Mitchell, Margie Vela. City Council members here with us today. Greg Smith, Gil Sorg, Jack Eatman, Cassandra Gendana, Gabriel Vasquez, and Yvonne Flores. We also have the Senior Loan Officer from the Nova Home Loans, Margaret Taylor. And Jereen Hutchinson here as well. Sorry, Jereen. And we also have the CEO of Visit Tucson, Brent Durad here. He was also on the committee for the Nova Home Loans. And we have many food trucks and vendors set up today, so make sure you guys take advantage of all the great vendors that we have here today. We have some special Aggie vendors with us. The ticket office from the Pan Am is here. They're selling tickets for the men's basketball game this afternoon. As soon as we're done here, we're just going to pack up and head to the Pan Am. $5 tickets, lower bowl, on sale right now back at the box office tent towards the back of the plaza. $5 lower bowl. Utah Valley has absolutely no idea what they're going to walk into this afternoon, do they? We got some top 25 votes. And also, the city of Las Cruces has generously purchased 200 tickets to today's game against Utah Valley. Go back there, spin the wheel. If you land on free tickets, you're getting into the game for free this afternoon. Let's make sure you stop back there. Our good friends at Sports Accessories, Brian Cox, Anya, and their crew are back there selling official bull merchandise. If you haven't gotten any of that yet, make sure you spin on by and check that out. They have their booth set up back there as well. Of course, we can't forget to mention Dragonfly Cafe right across the plaza. And they are selling the Bosque Brewery Pistol Pete's 1888 Ale. So stop by and try one out if you haven't had one yet. Absolutely delicious. Pretty good. Again, we have our Aggie football here, football team here today. Not just today, but moving forward into next season. We're going to look for some remarkable success. Again, we have season tickets on sale today for next football season, the Pan Am booth in the back will sell you your season tickets that will help us to ensure success for years to come very important Aggie fans get your tickets today if you can 
and we're looking forward to next season already. Not only uh, if you purchase your tickets before March 15th, you not only qualify for a payment plan, but you also receive a replica bowl championship ring for every season ticket that you purchase. So make sure you uh, go back there today and secure your season tickets for football for next year. And again, they're selling those $5 little bowl tickets for this afternoon's game against Utah State. Let's get this underway. Please welcome to the stand the Chancellor of New Mexico State University, Gary Carruthers. Seven years left. I'm going to have to pick up the pace so I can see one next year for sure. I want to congratulate Coach Martin, his coaches, and our great student athletes for a great season and a bowl win. I've been around New Mexico State University since 1957. You students think that's ancient history, it is. But I will tell you, I have never felt the energy on this campus until the last game of the football season where there was an anticipation that you would win one more game and be bowl eligible. The energy on the campus and the community was fantastic. And when you won that game, you could see the energy on the field. Only twice in my long career at New Mexico State University have I ever seen anybody storm the football field at New Mexico State University. Stay off the field, stay off the field. Aggies are not well-behaved people. <laughs> I would also tell you as a result of the final game of the football season where we got a lot of attention, and as a result of the bowl game, according to a service that, uh, that we buy here to look at earned media, this whole event was worth $24 million of earned media for New Mexico State. working with our legislature, the legislature's in session. I was up there this past week, got lots of congratulations, lots of congratulations from legislators, even the Lobo sympathizers, congratulations. <laughs> when I first took this job, Coach Martin came to my office and he said, I want you to extend my contract for one year. I took over this program kind of in February or March, I don't remember exactly the date, but the other football coach had left to take a job at the NFL, and so Coach Martin took over. And so, in all fairness, he said, I need an extension of one year on my contract. That's one thing he said. And the second thing he said, he says, I want to build a football program, not just a football team. And so I locked in on that. He had a, a strategy to build this football program, the kind of recruiting he would do, the kind of student athletes he wanted to have here. And so he went on, on about to do that. When he started, he had 65 scholarships. With the help of the ADs, they moved it to 85 scholarship, but the cupboard was somewhat bare when he took this program over. He moved the APR, that's academic progress, very important to NCAA and to New Mexico State. He moved the APR from 915 to 950. Very important because at 915, you can be penalized with practice time. We raised over $4 million for improvements. The donors were betting on Doug Martin building a program, and they give a lot of money. And our student athletes are very good students, very good citizens, and they give back to the community. So this win in Tucson, Arizona, and in the Arizona Bowl, was just a cherry on top of the Sunday. I want to thank, I want to thank the mayor, thank the city council, the city manager, Stuart Eid, who is an Aggie as well, the mayor's an Aggie, and the employees of the city. NMSU and the city of Las Cruces have never been tighter. I have never enjoyed as much cooperation as we do today. It's not just the athletic events, we love that as well. We were here three or four months ago with all of our teams at a celebration at the invitation of the city. The city and we are working well on a number of fronts, athletics, economic development, policy, collaboration. 
NMSU technically is not in the city of Las Cruces, but we certainly feel like full-time residents when you're there and your group put this together. This is such a fantastic thing for the city of Las Cruces to do. Now I'd like to introduce our chair of the board of directors, our president, Deborah Hicks, I think it's uh, president, uh, not chair, but uh, Deborah Hicks. She is an Aggie. She's an engineer and a big Aggie sports fan. Please welcome Deborah Hicks. Thank you, Chancellor. First, I need to thank the city of Las Cruces for the mayor, for the city council, again, on behalf of the Board of Regents. Thank you for this incredible, incredible, full victory opportunity. Secondly, I want to thank all the unwavering fans, the Aggie fans that are out here in this crowd. You're not quite the number that we had at the bowl. We had the largest attendance in a bowl event at New Mexico State University when we won that game. In 2013, when Doug Martin was hired as the head coach, Max said, Doug would provide great leadership to build a quality program. Coach Martin had a vision and he stuck with it. In fact, he set out to change the culture of the football program at New Mexico State University and he did it. Thank you, Coach Martin. and he made a difference at New Mexico State. Thank you, Mario. And he wouldn't have done it without the support of a stellar athletic director. Thank you. <laughs> Coach Martin developed a team with unlimited potential, each and every one of you, and you were able to take his dream and make it a reality. Thank you to each one of you athletes for your incredible victory at the bowl. Chancellor said, this has been a historic season with record attendance. As Chair of the Board of Regents, I would like to again extend an unwavering, heartfelt thank you to the Aggies. Welcome to Crimson Country. We are so glad you're here today. Thank you again. I just want to point out, I don't think you guys are using your cowbells that much. Hey, ring them all afternoon. Don't worry, they won't wear out. Hey, thank you so much. And we've got some other great people uh, that we want to recognize today. And at this time, I'd like to bring up the mayor of the city of Las Cruces, Mayor Ken Miyagashima, and the city manager, Stuart Eaton. Thanks, Ed. Good afternoon, everybody. Good right here, I have to tell you something. I got room right here. I know it's been 57 years, but to me it's been 40. Because let me tell you why. I have to be very candid with you. I was not born the last time uh, the Yankees won in 1960. But I have to say, ever since I was a teenager, I always watched and you know Aggie football back in the mid 70s. Is Jack here, Jack Nixon? Because he's my fact checker. But the quarterback in 1976 was a guy named Casey Kirk. I, I went to school with his brother, Stacy. And every year you start out with this, this so much enthusiasm, so much hope, and you know, they do their best. But man, let me tell you something. You guys, this year, you, were, you guys were the best. And uh, it, it, it was, it's surreal, yeah. You guys just, you guys just. I'll never forget, I, I think it was back in the, in, the, in the late 70s or early 80s, but um, the Aggie football team back then lost to their Arkansas, 52-3. And, um, you know, Arkansas is a big time team. But when you guys held your own against uh, Arizona, Arizona State, and then when you guys, you guys kept it good with uh, Arkansas, we knew, we knew this was a different team. 
we knew this is a different coaching system. We knew that uh, we're on to something here. You guys are incredible. I, I, I can't say enough for what you guys had to work with. I know that the money's tight, budget's tight, but you guys really made it happen. And I can't thank you on behalf of the city. And I want to take a moment to quickly thank what I refer to as my board of directors, my city council, the city council for their support and allowing us to get this thing forward. I appreciate you all very much. And if I have uh, recognize my, my wife Rosie so thank you for your support we're always there I can't thank you guys enough for a great season I'm looking forward to more I'm also looking forward to many of you that I know that the, the pros have their eyes on I mean you guys are just so exciting it's just so much fun to watch you guys play football so congratulations I'm going to turn it over to our city manager but, but I would be remiss in saying this I want to personally thank uh, our economic, economic developer, Mr. Phil Sanfilippo, and his staff for, for doing a fantastic job. Where's Phil at? See around here? I mean, he did, he, he's the one who coordinated all this. And thank you for the, you know, the, the mini parade. It was just great. I mean, it's just pretty fun to see all of them all come together. So thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Coach Martin and the staff and Mario and, and President Brothers. Thank you for everything. I know you'd be all shaking here. Well, it's a beautiful day in Las Cruces, and it's a beautiful day to be an Aggie. So yes, I'm Stuart Eat, I'm your city manager, but I'm also an Aggie and Chancellor. I'm not a well-behaved Aggie, and I was down on that field when they won that bowl. So I just want to thank... First and foremost, I want to thank uh, the, the players, the coaches, the students of this fine university. You know, we are a beautiful community. We have a lot going on for us, don't we? I mean, look at today. We got the beautiful weather. We're in shirts, shorts. We got those beautiful mountains. We've got so much to be thankful for. But one of the greatest things in this community is this amazing university that we call New Mexico State. So let's give a round of applause for all the students, all the educators, and all the administrators at this fine university in Mexico State. <laughs> the only other thing I want to say before I turn this over to the athletic director is I want to thank the players for their hard work, for their dedication, for finding their potential and delivering. You, gentlemen and ladies that make up the team, that do all the support and all the work, you show this community what commitment, what pride, what hard work can, can pr produce. And you led the way through your leadership, through your dedication, through, through your passion. You set an example for all of us. And I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart as an Aggie, as your city manager, as a member of this community, how grateful I am for the pride that you showed and the pride that you st instilled in me and this community. So thank you so much for a job well done. Go ahead. And with that, I will turn this over to our athletic director, Mr. Mocha. Thank you, Stuart. How's everybody doing today? This is one of the best days in Aggie sports history. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to thank a lot of people up here. I'm going to talk about the season. I gotta start out by thanking one guy especially. That's our head coach, Doug Martin. <laughs> Tireless effort, built from the ground up, done it the right way. Can't say enough about the man. He had the belief, he had the faith, he got it done. I'm also gonna try to get this through this thing without crying, okay? Uh, assistant coaches. Thank you, guys. Where's Frank Spaziani? Where's our defensive coordinator? Spaz! Spaz, raise your hand. 
The defense had 11 sacks last year. 43 this year, second in the country. Defense got it done. To the current team, thank you guys for giving every Aggie fan a lifetime memory. Don't forget, this is the team that swept UNM and UTEP first time since 2002. We got that spade and spittoon over there to prove it from El Paso. I also want to thank all the former Aggie players. This is a win for all of you. And the outpouring of your pride and enthusiasm during the bowl was nothing short of phenomenal. Thanks to all the ex-players out there. some of these. I gotta thank my family. Boy, they put up with me during football season. I know Heidi, Addie, and Gemma are out there. Thank you guys. Our entire athletic department staff that worked tirelessly to get a crowd in and promote the, pro promote the program. Certainly the city. We've heard of it though. The, the mayor, Ken Miyagashima, uh, city manager, Stuart Eid, and certainly Phil Sanfilippo. Thank you guys for everything you've done to make today a huge success. I want to thank the donors who have made our athletic facility so phenomenal. We just lost a giant, Mr. Stan Fulton, the Allen family, Royal Jones of Mesilla Valley Transportation, Samson Equipment, Scott Dave and Linda Schroeder, and Lori Paulson and Brandon Young, and many more. I want to thank my boss who brought me here. Coming back to the alma mater, Chancellor Carruthers, the Regents, and everybody at the university that supports the athletic program. Thank you guys very much. We also have some unbelievably special people. Lori Paulson, Jeremiah, her son, our honorary captain, and Brandon. They are the soul of this team. And if you don't think Lori was up there in heaven, Willing us to victory, she was. I also got to thank a special person. Where's Marisa Martinez? Marisa, Coca-Cola weight room. She's the hardest worker in the whole department. The Nova Home Loans Company and the Arizona Bowl leadership was nothing short of phenomenal. Certainly Brent Garad, the executive board member, and John Volpe, our, their CEO for Nova Home Loans, they were tremendous, they loved us. Uh, can't thank them enough for making our experience a, a tremendous one. Um, but last, and by far the most important, Aggie fans, Aggie Nation. Without you, this does not happen. Without you guys, today does not happen. I want to take you back to December 2nd. South Alabama game. Tyler Rogers and Connor Kramer with the catch. Where is Connor Kramer? Connor, stand up. <laughs> Special moment in Aggie history. How many of you here thought we would have 20,000 plus fans at a December 2nd Aggie football game? Unbelievable. We win that game. We storm the field, and it's national news. ESPN, Scott Van Pelt, Stanford Steve, the Bear, the Game Day crew. They're all talking about Aggie football across the country. Pretty phenomenal. Then we go to the Nova Home Loans, Arizona Bowl. Taking Tucson by storm. Now, this was a total team effort. I can't recognize all 100 guys, but... Hey, you're going to applaud when I call these, but I'm going to call some guys out because I rewatched the game like four times. Jason Huntley, stand up. Stand up, keep standing up. We get a little gut punch to start the game with a 94-yard uh, kickoff return. Jay Hunt does a 100-yard return. Gets us right back in the ball game. A man from Miami, T. Hanks. Terrell Hanks, stand up. The other team is at the goal line. They score. We're in serious trouble. 
He busts through the line, not only knocks down the ball for an 11-yard loss, but recovers it and gives us a chance. T. Hayes. A lot of people are not going to remember this, but I will. Where's Jonathan Boone? Where's Jay Boone? Stand up. Hey. Fourth down, Tyler Scrambling. This man is being held, nobody's calling it. Makes an unbelievable acrobatic diving catch to give us a fresh set of downs. Jay Boone. And then I know our man is out uh, training for the NFL, but Jalil Scott all year was there for us. An unbelievable catch. And we heard Aggie Nation when they showed it on the video board. That catch was good. Unbelievable to tie the game. He's going to be playing in the Senior Bowl next week. You're going to hear from this guy. People are going to remember this. Ronnie LaForce, stand up real quick. Breaking up a critical pass, right? A critical pass to give us the ball late in the fourth quarter. And last but not least, who else? Larry Rose III. No more fitting ending for our third team All-American. The face of the program to score that winning touchdown in overtime. Now I'll say this, a program who rarely received a fairy tale ending got two in one month. Everybody has asked me, what's your best memory of this season? It's not even close. It's right before kickoff, and I look up. I knew what we sold at our box office. I kind of had a feeling what maybe was sold through the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl box office. But to look up and see 25,000 Aggie fans taking over Tucson, Arizona on that press box side it was the greatest sight I ever thought I'd see from an Aggie standpoint. Now I'm going to ask you for something. Help us keep this going. This can be the standard. We need you in 2018. We've got a great schedule. We've got Wyoming coming in here. We've got New Mexico coming in here. Georgia Southern, just to name a few. We have to have you guys become season ticket holders. You can do that for as low as 60 bucks. And you're going to get a bowl championship ring when you order that season ticket. If you order four, you're going to get four rings. All right, so we need you guys tremendously. Thank you to the team. Guys, thank you. Thank you, Aggie Nation, for making this the feel-good story of the year in the sport of college football and give a lifetime memory to all of the Aggie fans. Now, I'm not sure you heard, but we got a pretty good basketball team, too. They're ranked 31st in the country. 16 and 3. I ran into the Utah Valley coach's mother out here. She said, I'm not kidding. She goes, we're going to be ready today. I said, so are we, okay? You're right, we got those $5 tickets. Everybody come over. We're going to honor the football team at halftime. We're going to have another great show for them at halftime of today's game at 4 o'clock. But I'll tell you, I can't say thank you enough for everybody that's here. Go Aggies. Now I'd like to bring to the stage the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl Executive Board Member Brent Garrod and Nova Home Loans Senior Loan Officer Margaret Taylor. Give them a big Las Cruces welcome. I was hoping to get that lowered. Hello Las Cruces. been the sponsor now for three years on the Arizona Bowl, but hosting our rel relatives and neighbors to the east made it extra special. So thank you for that. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to do that. I have to tell you that I was here in Las Cruces actually uh, enjoying the holidays with my family while you all were tearing it up in Tucson. <laughs> Uh, our office was a buzz, however. They couldn't quit talking about the game that was so amazing, but more importantly was the fans. The way that you guys brought the stadium to life was amazing, and people are still talking about it. 
So on behalf of Nova Home Loans, congratulations to New Mexico State University, to the team, to Coach Martin, to the city of Las Cruces, and to you guys, the fans. Thank you so much. I'm uh, Brent Rod. I, uh, I am fortunate to uh, serve on the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl uh, Executive Board and also I'm the CEO of Visit Tucson. And that's certainly something that you all did uh, just a few <laughs> weeks ago and I thank you for that. What a great turnout. Uh, we just got our December numbers. Our hotel revenue was up 13%. I wonder why. your support of the team. I want to uh, congratulate uh, Coach Doug Martin, uh, the look coaching staff, and, and look, the players. Look, look, look I have to you. tell you, I've, I've been in the bowl industry now for 30 years uh, doing you know, various things, but I have to tell you, I've never seen a group of uh, more humble, appreciative, hardworking uh, guys than, than what we saw uh, in Tucson throughout the week. Thank you guys and congratulations. Hoteliers, our retailers, everybody, I, I have to tell you, uh, basically, we were all calling ourselves Las Cruces West. It was just an amazing experience. Uh, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that uh, we have the ability to bring back New Mexico State whenever and however we can. But you need to understand that you almost did too good of a job. You came out in droves, and as, uh, as Mario said, 25,000 people uh, coming into Tucson and supporting the game. If you think that other bowl games throughout the country didn't notice that, you're absolutely wrong. The next time you're bowl eligible, we're going to be in a dogfight at the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl to try and bring you back. This is just a, a really special occasion for us. Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl, this was only our third game. We still have uh, some things we need to go through and, and uh, we need to continue to grow as well. Uh, but I guess for us to be a part of your history, uh, looking back at those t-shirts, you made history. You took 57 years and turned it around in one uh, unbelievable season. It was just incredible. I want to thank you also uh, for taking it easy on Utah State during the first four quarters, letting the game go to overtime, and then pulling it out in that dramatic fashion. I thought that was just phenomenal. Great job. I just want an opportunity to thank uh, Chancellor Carruthers, uh, the Regents, uh, the Alumni Association. And I look, I was the, the drum major of my high school band. Nobody's thanked the band. Thank you. You're incredible. But, uh, and, and also, I really want to thank Nova Home Loans. Uh, Margaret. Uh, you and the entire team at Nova Home Loans are just fantastic. I want to thank the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl staff. Uh, Alan Young's our executive director. Uh, Nikki Ballach, I saw some type of post. She does all of our logistics. I think she's here as well. Uh, but a, a tremendous staff. Uh, and again, fans, thank you. Uh, you made this game. Uh, you supported your team. As Mario said, this is the beginning. If you want this to continue, please continue to come out and support your team. I'll tell you what, it makes all the difference in the world. Thank you so much. I'm coming back up here. He's exactly right. We don't do this without the cheerleaders, the sun dancers, and the best band in the country out there. Thank you guys. We got the best band director in the United States. He's changing the whole thing. Thank you guys. Give it up for the pride of New Mexico. Brent you, Brent, you stole my joke. I was going to come up here and say there's a rumor going around that Tucson's going to be renamed Las Cruces West. I should have got with you. I should have got with you beforehand, man. Great. Hey, we're going to hear from a couple of players. How about that? A couple of members of the team. I sent these two guys' names, name and their number a lot last season. And after I introduce them, I'm going to hear some cowbells. Please welcome a wide receiver, number 10, Isaiah Lotti. And number 
number 23 on the defense as safety, Ron LaFours! I know everybody's been up here talking about the fans. Can we get another round of applause for the fans? I know y'all got more than that. Come on now. On the defensive side of the ball, it's really important to have a lot of people with the game. Everybody on the defense can vouch for it on third down. Y'all get loud reading them cowbells. It really helps us out a lot. Thank y'all. Can't thank y'all enough. From the offense perspective, um, we just really appreciate y'all. I mean, it's been a process, ups and downs, trials and tribulations. Did y'all stuck with us? We appreciate that. But if y'all remember one thing from the celebration, that this isn't the start of, this isn't the end of the journey. This is the beginning. There's a new standing here in the next year. Like you said, this is just a start. Aggie up and wobble on. Thank you, fellas. Thank you very much. You know, we, we've heard from administration today, the chancellor, the city of Las Cruces. We've heard from the team. There's a whole bunch of other people that make this possible as well, the whole season and getting people out to the game. And right now, I'd like to introduce from the Alumni Association, Ms. Leslie Cervantes.
think these guys will be talking about what I'm talking about now, aren't you? Let's go, Aggies! How about these Aggies here today? I got a lot of people to thank here today. Let, let me start off, though, the assistant head coach, Vicki Martin, who's been through this whole thing with me. Ago, we had to bring a little bit extra in here, so I brought my mother from Tennessee and moved her into Las Cruces. So that helped us. You know, uh, Mario Mocha has been in uh, in my corner from the beginning of this, and this never would have happened without his support and, and a lot of people here and a great coaching staff and great team, obviously. But what Mario's done for me has been unbelievable, and the support he's given me. So can't thank you enough, buddy. Appreciate everything. So look, what I really came here to do today is thank you fans. And I want to tell you guys exactly what you've done uh, for this football team, this football program. These are some amazing young men right here. I mean some incredible, incredible people. Not just football players, but the people they are. And it's been an honor and a privilege to co coach these guys. They've got heart, they've got character, uh, they've got everything it takes to be a winner. And you are winners, right? You are winners now. But that being said, let me tell you what they did this year. We won seven football games, including the bowl game. These guys right here, they won five of them. You know who won the other two? This crowd out here, you guys won those other two football games. What our fans and students and the band and everybody did out here getting behind us, I'm telling you, the South Alabama game, when I came here four years ago, I had a vision of what I wanted Memorial Stadium to look like on a Saturday. The team, the band, the stands, storming the field. You guys made that happen. You willed these guys to win that game in South Alabama. That's credit to you guys. And then incredibly, what you did at the bowl game was even better. I mean, I, I can't tell you what you guys did to uplift this football team to win that bowl game. It came directly from the fans. In the fourth quarter, we're behind seven. We've got to tie the game to get it into overtime. And from the back of our sideline, that crowd starts chanting, I believe that we can win. I believe that we can win. You guys changed the football team's mentality at that point in that football game. I mean, where in the world does a town take over a whole city, a whole stadium, and start a chant throughout the stadium to will somebody to win. I'll tell you where that happens. That happens at New Mexico State University. Where that happens. So Mario talked about the spade, the shovel we took from UTEP in that game. The players know what we really do with that shovel, and I'm going to share that with you guys. We came here four years ago. I was told, you can't, you can't. You can't, you can't be an FBS program, you can't beat UTEP, you can't beat UNM, you can't go to a bowl game, you can't win a bowl game. We took that shovel right there and we buried old man camp. That's what we did. There is no camp. There is no camp in Las Cruces. There is no camp with this football team. There is no camp with our fans. It's all about we will. We will get this done. We're going to continue to get this done. Now, we've got, to, we've got to start a new era. We're going to be an independent coming up. What that means is, it's us against everybody. And that's just how we want it, isn't it, man? So the slogan now is, anybody, anytime, anywhere, just let us know. We'll be there, all right? take this football program forward and we're going to do two things, us and you together. Right? Something really magical happened here. This community, the university, our fans, and this football team just became one. That's powerful. That's really powerful. So we're going to go across this nation and we're going to take this nation by storm now. We're going to make sure everybody in the nation knows where Las Cruces, New Mexico is with this football program. Look, they're going to learn two things. If you want to play New Mexico State in a football game, 
you better pack your lunch and be ready for 60 minutes because they're the toughest team you're ever going to play, number one. Number two, they're backed up by the toughest, most fierce fans in the country also. So again, I can't thank you guys enough. And, and as Isaiah said, this is not the end of this story. This is just the beginning. We're going to start to do a lot more great things here. And uh, we can't wait to get it started. And uh, we're doing it right now in recruiting. we got spring practice coming up. It all keeps going for us. we got a great group of young men right here that are going to make this happen for you. And we're all going to get this done together. So if I could finish up here, we do have a very special family, the Paulson family, Brandon Young, Lori Paulson, Jeremiah. These people have been amazing to our football family. And Lori was uh, our honorary captain and made a difference in our lives here, made a difference in my life. I mean, when things were going bad, she was the person that would send you a text or call you or just make you keep things going. And uh, we miss Lori desperately, but we know she's been there with us. There's no doubt she's been there with us. Is that right, men? So we want to continue Lori's legacy. Jeremiah is our captain now. And we want to present him with another jersey, a Team Paulson number one jersey for Jeremiah. So again, we can't thank you all enough. This is a special place and a lot more special things to come. All right, go Aggies! Coach, I haven't played in 30 years, and I'm ready to go right now. <laughs> no wonder you guys ripped through everybody. Holy cow, that was nice. Thank you, Coach. Hey, I want to remind you that we're going to have the, the whole football team is going to be at tables over here in the back corner. There's going to be a poster available. You can walk over there and get in line and get your autographs and uh, shake hands with these fine young gentlemen and, and tell them thank you and uh, great job. So that'll be going on after we conclude here. The football team will be in the back corner over here at the tables and they'll be signing autographs. Also, we have the trophies up here. We got the, the spade, the spittoon, and the Arizona Home Loans Trophy. You can come up here and get your uh, photo with them. Please do not touch the trophies, but you're welcome to stand by the table and have your uh, photo taken with, with all the championships from this past season. The prize wheel with the city of Las Cruces once again is in the back. They purchased 200 tickets for this afternoon's game against Utah Valley. You can spin the wheel and win tickets to that. Other great prizes are available as well. That's towards the back of the plaza. All of our uh, great friends at Sports Accessories are selling your Arizona Bowl official merchandise. They have their booth set up. And you can purchase your t-shirts, your hats, all that great stuff towards the back. Again, this afternoon, men's basketball tip-off is set for four. We hope to see you out there. $5 lower bowl tickets on sale for this afternoon's game right now in the back. Buy some tickets. Head over there. Let's pack the Pan Am this afternoon and, and show exactly and show Utah Valley what we're all about. Thank you so much for coming out. Good afternoon. Thank you.